You know Farrah Abraham from shows like 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom. She's also a New York Times bestselling author of My Teenage Dream Ended, and now she's coming out with a new book, a neurotic trilogy called Celebrity Sex Tape. And she's here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Farrah. Hello. Thank you for having me. Were you afraid of the negative connotations when you made the sex tape, which is the reasons to which you denied having made a certain kind of sex tape that you wanted to sell? There were so many, I mean, there were so many different layers I don't, I don't, of discussion I don't really feel like it. I can personally talk about that for legal reasons, but I feel that I have learned from my past and I made the best choices at that time, and I'm moving beyond that. Absolutely, but it, it, it's hard to understand that you're moving beyond it when you're writing a, no, a fictional novel that is so much about that. I mean, there's many other people who have sex tapes, so Absolutely. if I just want to, if it was a popular topic in my life, and as a writer, I want to express that. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, I just have awesome fans and hearing feedback, and I was like, this is the next step for me in my portfolio of literacy, so I just wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. In choosing this topic to write about, you are, in many ways, still holding on to the infamy of the sex tape, though. I said, you know, sometimes in my career I do have some of the negatives and the lashback, and I continue to just be strong as a woman. Like, I'm not the only person who does this, and I have to just embrace my sexuality and move on. Absolutely. You should totally embrace your sexuality, and uh, from this point of view, from me sitting right here, I have no negative connotations when it comes to making a sex tape, when it comes to pornography at all. Yeah. I'm, it's, there, there's no judgment coming for me in the decision to have sex on film. But I get, the question that I'm asking is, is that as much as you're moving on, you are also at the same time. Those negative connotations create infamy, which creates notoriety, which creates popularity, which creates dollars. It creates so, a lot of things, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. And it seems to me if you're moving beyond the negative connotations, you're sort of attracting more negative connotations by continuing to talk about and write about. It seems I'm, like the sex I'm tape sure, is still a big part of your life. I'm sure nobody likes to see others do well. But, oh, no. I, you know, I think that's what it is with a lot of the negative things. And mm -hmm. I'm happy that I'm doing better than what I was in my past. So, How were you doing in your past? I mean, I really struggled with a lot of the comments and a lot of the hurt that I felt from fans and, you know, people who I've worked with on, on TV and I'm the not... The teen moms, right? Yes, and so that's hurtful to see, but at the end of it, through therapy and through a lot of things that I've done to improve my self, I guess, self-worth in my head, it's helped me be in a better place. And I'm fortunate that my family has helped me too, like move on and not hold things against me. It's wild to me that there is so much judgment cast upon you because you are essentially a 16-year-old girl that was pregnant, that got on a reality show in a small town in Nebraska, and you became famous. Now, you have so many decisions, you have so many handlers, you have an agent, you have a manager now, you have people who are throwing things at you to help you make money. How in over your head did you feel at times? Well, I was also going through depression and like on medication and seeking counseling. I was one of, I don't know, it was a very hard and one of the worst times of my life, and... What was hard about it, though? Not being so close to your family because they don't want to, you know, deal with a lot of TV things. Like, even when I think back about it, it really makes me sad. I could probably cry, but, um, you know, losing somebody, I just feel like it was too much for me to deal with. And so, Dr. Jen is like, quit blaming yourself for it and you need to like let that go to move on. And so I still struggle with it. You know, I still think of like anniversaries with my daughter's father and May is like kind of a good but a horrible month for me because I'm thinking of all these things and it's my birthday and it's all this stuff. And so it's still today, it's really hard for me to balance. Well, absolutely, because meanwhile, you're thinking of these things of anniversaries with, with your daughter's father, yeah. time with your family, people in your family that didn't want to be a part of television with yeah. you, didn't want to go along for the ride. You're also, and people forget this about someone who gets into the industry right away, you're struggling to make a paycheck because now you can take care of your daughter, mm -hmm. you know, very handsomely with this new career that you've been offered, mm -hmm. which is an incredible opportunity. But at the same time, you're making, what is the path that you can go down in this career? It seems like you're always going to get judged for doing something like couples therapy, for doing something like another version of Teen Mom, you know? Mm -hmm. These things are always, people are always judging you, but in many ways you're taking care of your kids and your family with it, no? 
And yeah, I'm just, this is how I feel. The shows that I've been a part of, I feel like they've helped me grow and I would not be a part of shows that didn't help me. Because I watch and I look back at all the shows that I do and I make sure that I'm improving myself for my daughter. And that doesn't mean I'm always happy about what I'm watching or when my dad's watching it with me. I'm not happy about that. And so I take it very serious about what I allow now to be out in the public. So I don't really feel like being a part of TV so much. I don't really feel like allowing it so close to my family because honestly, right now, my family and I are in the best place where we've been and it's because I'm taking projects without showing my family and do you, it's think just, the, do you think the TV shows and the sex tape hurt your family? I think at first it did, but I, I know that my family is now stronger because of it. You're following the Kim Kardashian model a little bit. She made a sex tape with Ray J. Yes. Now you're making a yes, sex tape. Yes, and apparently with Ray they're J. very upset about it. Yes. <laughs> I think flattery, uh, imitation, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery.